Scared the crap out of me. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. How are you all doing? We are currently on the A34 heading south towards Portsmouth. Um, we've got uh, a load of pallets on. We're going to go to two different B&M stores uh, this morning and then possibly something else afterwards. I'm not sure yet. I think we've got to go pick up some pallets later. Um, but for now, we've got to go to two different B&M stores. They're about two miles apart from each other in Portsmouth. So that's where we're going. Uh, it's going to be interesting on... Um, well, both of them particularly, trying to find the service area. I think I know where it is, uh, but I might be wrong. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and find the service area. I've never delivered to B&M before either, so I don't know what uh, the procedures are. Uh, I'm hoping I can just turn up and walk up to the gate and ring a buzzer and say I'm here and they let me in. Got no times on the delivery uh, and they've got 10 pallets each, both stores. So it shouldn't take too long to, uh, to actually get this off. Um, our ETA to the first store is 9 o'clock, I'm hoping that we could get them, um, it'd be nice to get them both done by 10 o'clock, but let's say 11, um, and yeah, any later than 11 o'clock, I think that's going to be a bit late, but we will see. So yes, anyway, let's carry on, uh, like I said, we're on the A34, so um, I'll see you when we're a little bit closer, we've got to go A34, and then onto the M3, down to the M27, and then um, we're going to go east, yeah, east to Portsmouth. Uh, we're actually going to go downhill on the M27 that I uh, braked once when I was working for, for JK and I broke the disc on the wheel and it nearly nearly took me into the hard shoulder and crashed whilst fully loaded. Interesting story. <laughs> anyway, let's go. See you in a bit. Okay, this was actually where I nearly had the accident. So I'm on the engine brake right now. Um, but I, I, I pressed the uh, brake pedal. The brake disc broke in the right wheel. I didn't know what it was, so I automatically braked harder. And because only the left brake was working now, because there was no disc on the right, it took me over into the hard shoulder. Um, and yeah, just, just before there, where we just was. Um, scared the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. And. Uh, it's quite late at night. It's lucky, lucky there was no one in lane one because I'm in. I was in lane two uh, at the time because lane one goes off down here. Um, so it was lane one, two, three. I was in lane two, and when I broke, when I broke, it just literally took me straight left. And it's lucky there was no one in the in lane one. I was already taken them out. Um, but yeah, I was like straight over to the hard shoulder, pretty much. I managed to collect myself. I was fully loaded with. Um, uh, like machi machinery on for tarmac laying, so I think I had two big rollers and um, maybe a paver as well. I might now. I, I think it might have been just two big rollers and a small roller, or something like that. Something like that. Maybe a digger. Um, but yeah, no, I was quite lo quite heavy loaded, um, and yeah, I had a bit of a tail swing as I went. But we managed to save it. Managed to uh, collect ourselves. Um, was asked if I could take it back to the yard. I was like, no. <laughs> Fuck you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's broke. <laughs> I was like, no, no, not taking it back to the yard. Um, so in the end, the boss came out and uh, gave me his truck and I took his truck back. Um, that's how I got back that night or morning, whatever it was. But that's just one of the reasons why, um, why I left working throughout the night, problems like that. It's just. Luckily, it happened when it did. It was it was early on in the night. It was like nine, ten o'clock at night, towards the start of my shift. So um, yeah, any later, people would have been in bed and wouldn't have been able to be rescued or anything like that. So never mind. Anyway, we're about a mile and a half away from our first destination. 
um, which is not too bad. We're going, I think, I think this is the one further, uh, closest to us and then the other one's slightly closer, but only two miles further in, I think, in Portsmouth. And then, um, and then yeah, need to make a phone call and I'm, I'm sure we'll be doing something, something else after that. But yeah, nearly there. We've just got to uh, come off this now, this uh, A road. What's this called? The A2030, apparently. No, no, this is A27. We're going on to the 2030. Got some services there. Moped right in front, look, going quite slow. Is he staying on or coming off? Has is, is he got a GoPro on his head? He's got a GoPro on his head, look. Well, he isn't indicating yet. Oh, now he is. I'm not sure what lane I need either. I think I might need the left lane. Yeah, we're going left at this roundabout. So we're staying in this lane, stay behind the moped, no point overtaking him. Three quarters of a mile will be there. So yeah, we've got to go to two B&M stores. Uh, one of them is like, one of them's got its own dedicated yard, by the sounds of it, or from what I can see, by the looks of it. The other one's got like a shared access yard with uh, with all of the other um, places, like there's Curry's and Halfords and loads of other stores. It's in like little industrial estates. It's definitely got a GoPro on his head. <laughs> Love it. I've got a hat. Uh, with a GoPro mount on, but it just, you just look really weird. Well, I look really weird with it on anyway. Delivered to Travis Perkins that side of the roundabout. And Bill Base. I've not come down here before. Uh, right, we are going to want to get in the right hand side lane, I think. Let's let these vehicles overtake. We need to turn right in 600 yards, just over the crest of this hill. So we get on over now, there's no one behind us. And uh, B&M should be just on the right somewhere. Might be able to see it over this hill. I see Sainsbury's. Oh, I think it's next to Sainsbury's on this one. We might also have to park up on the road uh, before we go in. We'll soon see. There we go, there's B&M. There is B&M. We want to go around the back of that. Uh, as for what we're delivering, oh, there's a red light now. As for what we're delivering, um, it's all pallets, 10 pallets for this store. 10 pallets to the other store and um, they are like basically aggregate <laughs> so what I normally deliver um, or used to deliver a lot of um, so it's like slates and little bags of like 25 gra kilograms of bags of stones and stuff and um, like fer not fertilizer or topsoil or stuff like that but we might need to park up on the road before we go in because I don't think there's enough room for an arctic just to turn right in you, I think we've got to park up on the road let them know we're here so they can open the gates from what I can see. But there might not be an awful lot of room for that. Thank you. Well, these ones have turned green now. Oh look, be an M truck. God, he's just come out, so hopefully there's room for me to go in. Fingers crossed. That's a bit of good luck, if that's true. Right, we want to turn right. Oh, there's a truck parked up. We might be causing a problem here. I want to go in there. There's definitely not enough room for an Arctic in there. I'm gonna have to wait here a second and buzz. Um, yeah, we're definitely causing problems here, but I need to get in there, so. 
Right, we are back. Right, I've uh, went and buzzed the buzzer. Someone come out straight away. So I have to get this key in. And we're being let in straight away. Which is what we like to hear. do one side first then move over and do the other side so not too bad the first one done. Ugh. Put the paperwork away a sec. Oh, I bought a couple of Greg's rolls yesterday, I forgot about them. <laughs> so yeah, it's the first one done. Uh, that window open a second, I am up. We are on our way to the second one. And according to SatNav, we will be there in eight minutes. So uh, yeah, not got long to go. Ugh, eight minutes and we'll be there. Whew, soon a bit. Okay, right, we're nearly here. We just need to get on over into lane two when this car eventually overtakes. There we go. Green light. Yeah, so, oh, I've been down here. Curious, Curious PC World and uh, Travis Perkins all that is down here. Can't remember if it's that right though, or this one we're about to take. Let's just turn that aircon down a sec, it's a bit loud. Yes, I have been here. This is literally by Travis Perkins. I used to deliver to here all the time. Yes, so I actually know where this industrial estate is. There's a McDonald's there as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I used to get loaded at Southampton on the bags uh, late at night, like, well, I say late at night, we're talking like half four, five o'clock or whatever. Um, and then I would deliver here first thing in the morning for like half five, six o'clock and they'd get in extra early. And the bloke on the forklift at Travis Perkins here in Portsmouth, I remember him being absolutely rapid. He was proper, proper fast. Could get a whole load off, a whole trailer off. Green light, mate. A whole trailer off in like 15, 20 minutes, where normally it would take probably an hour for most people, 45 on average, I suppose. But yeah, no, the, the bloke down here, I don't know his name, I can't remember, but I remember being a great, a great bloody forklift driver. Nearly swore. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, so we're just, we're nearly here. Because I've thought about parking up somewhere around here and going to the farmhouse. Get a truck, I can get a truck in there. Loads of room in there when it's empty. <laughs> uh, okay, so the, yeah, this one is looks like a shared access for all of the, uh, all of the stalls there, including like Travisburg, uh, including like Curious PC World and all that. Um, so it's a shared access. I'm hoping I can just turn straight into it. It's a left turn, looking at Google uh, Google Images. So um, yeah, we'll find out in a moment. Einen Momento. There's a little. I'm sure there's a McDonald's down here. There it is, yeah, it's on the right, there it is. Not that I've ever been there, just I recall seeing it. That's a nasty left, uh, right-hand turn though, from, uh, oh yeah, left-hand turn, from the angle we're gonna be coming back at. You can make it, but the first time I made it, I was like, ooh, a bit tight. Okay, we're gonna go right around here. There we go, so B&M is there. It's between, well, it's just after Smith's. Halfords and Smith's. So I think I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on that on the other side, on the back end of that. Okay, we're taking a left. Where is the left? tarmac machinery. This left here, where that lady is crossing, I believe this is the access for goods in. I might be wrong. The gates are open, so I'm going straight in. No authorised access, service area open in time 7am, close 7pm. There's Courage PC World's goods in, and we're just after Halfords. Smith's toy store. There's Halford's goods in. 
I believe it's a one-way system as well, so we go out another way. Ah, yes, looking at, yeah, because on Google Street View, you can, you can look down here. Uh, I think this used to be a home base, and I think you literally tip on the corner here, I think. Based on what I saw. I'm going to put my hazards on. I think, yeah, that's being them. Cool, right, I'm just going to... Uh, position myself in here. It looks like this is where they're going to tip me. There is a truck behind me though. Hopefully I can go far enough back that I don't hit the truck, but enough that uh, people can go around us. That should be alright. Plenty of room in front. Okay, we're here. Right, let's go uh, knock on their door and see if they'll uh, take the delivery. I'm going to do, I'm in place. <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, we are tipped and it is 10 o'clock. Bang on 10 o'clock. And uh, I seem to recall saying it will be good if I finish by 10 o'clock, like both loads. And uh, I have. Both loads are finished. So. That one can go in the folder as well. So Luke, what are you doing next, Luke? Don't actually know what I'm doing next, to be honest with you. Um, let's put my mid-lift axle. I need to make a phone call. Okay, so I know what I'm doing now. I've got to go pick up some empty pallets from Southampton. Nursling Industrial Estate. Um, I do know where that is. Been there many, many, many times. There's also many, many, many companies there. So, yeah, <laughs> got to go to Unit 44, and that is uh, One Stop Stalls Limited or something. Uh, unit 44, Nursing Industrial Estate. Like I said, I've been there loads of times. I've just got to uh, find the uh, the correct unit. Get loaded with a load of pallets, bring that back to Swindon, uh, unload them off, and then get reloaded. Um, so yes, although I don't know where I'm getting reloaded with pallets at the same place or whether I'm getting reloaded elsewhere, I'm not quite sure yet. All I, I cross that bridge when I get there. All I know is I've got to uh, get loaded first from Southampton. Apparently these gates will open automatically. I was going to say, both of them better open. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Right, anyway, let's crack on to Southampton. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, Nursling Industrial Estate is just off the uh, junction here. It's to the right of us. I've had a quick look. Um, I think there could be some trucks queuing up from what I could see. Uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look when we get there. We might be waiting a while to be loaded. Might have to ask some truckers if they're in the queue. I know this industrial estate does get quite busy. Um, it gets very busy down here from when I used to be here. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, I used to be essentially outbased down Southampton whilst working for JK. Go on then, my foot is down. Uh, whilst working for uh, for JK Transport, uh, we were contracted to do day aggregate work and I was essentially outbased down Southampton. Uh, and I would come home on a Wednesday and then back down again Thursday and Friday. Um, so yeah, I did a lot of uh, builders merchants around Southampton and Portsmouth area, hence why I went to Travis Perkins in Portsmouth, as I mentioned earlier. But we also, um, there's no builders merchants around here, but I used to go around here a few times. Um, it wasn't just the bags that we've done down Southampton. I've done all sorts down Southampton, like container work from the docks and then like trailer work as well from companies down south. So yeah, I've, just, I've been in this industrial estate a few times with a few different trailers on and stuff. So yeah. Never mind. Right, so Nelson Industrial Estate is to the right. Pretty sure I'd come down here once as well for truck tyre. I think truck tyre are based down here. Okay, right. Ugh. There we go. And they're going to go right here. Majestic Road. Uh, 
and then I think it's that building straight in front of us. There's no trucks here, but uh, from what I've been told and what I've seen, I think there's trucks around there, or normally is. Just the one truck. Uh, I think we've got to report to them first, I'm not sure. No idea. Okay, situation report is we uh, got here just before 11 o'clock. It's now just after 12, we've just been let in. We're just starting to get loaded now, but I think there might be an issue, I'm not sure. I've only got a four meter trailer on, not a 4.2. Um, so all the stacks are like the wrong height, I mean. So I think they've got to take take a few pallets off to make make it the right height. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I got in and the forklift driver, she said, uh, you want brown pallets? <laughs> so I don't know, I've just, I've just been told to come in and get some pallets. <laughs> I don't know. So they're going to Shep, which uh, I think are blue pallets. Must lay blue Shep slash GKN pallets only. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether GKN are brown or not, but got the blue ones on but yeah i don't know if you can see there's some, there's some over there that blue ones and they are pot potentially stacked to the right height already i don't know no idea what i do know is that they're loading me out of this this side at the moment so i'm just gonna have to just gonna have to wait hopefully we can get uh loaded quite quickly and then there'd be a three or four hour wait in swindon <laughs> to get them off again and then uh, reload for tomorrow. It's Thursday today, isn't it? Yeah. So tomorrow's the last day. Anyway, it's just started raining, so I'm glad I'm in now. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just realised there's music playing in the background, so uh, I'm going to go before I get demonetised. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, uh, we are loaded. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just scared the crap out of me. Right, we've got 364 pallets. They've only gave me one copy here, so cool. Right, so yeah, now we're gonna head straight back to Swindon. It's a one and a half hour drive there, so not too shabby. Uh, we got here at 11 o'clock, it's now, well, we got it just before 11 o'clock, about two hours ago. It's, it's 10, 10 to uh, one at the moment. So yeah, uh, it, yeah, it could have been a bit quicker, if I'm honest. They uh, the paperwork hadn't been sent in the email, so I had to wait for the email to be sent. But the trouble is, it took 45 minutes before they even told me they still hadn't received the email in the first place, so... Um, yeah. Maybe I could have got out a little bit earlier, but we're out now, that's the main thing. That is the main thing. There's a, a truck coming. And off we go. Woo! Yeah, so we're going to get back to Sweden for about quarter past two, give or take. Um, last time I went there, I was there for three hours. So, that's to be loaded. I'm getting unloaded, so I don't know whether I'll get in the same place. I'm assuming I do. Um, that puts it at quarter past five. And then I've got to go and get reloaded for tomorrow. But if it's that late, I don't think I'm going to get reloaded. So, yeah, I think they're going to want me out there quickly to see uh, see if I get out quicker so I can get reloaded ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday. Foot down Friday, we want to get out and get home again. <laughs> so, yes, I've actually stayed on a night out once down here. Uh, literally we're like where these trucks are parked now. It's more more towards the roundabout. Pretty, pretty much where that container lorry is there. That's where I parked once for a night out. Yep. Good night out that was. So yeah, we want to go left now. We want to go on the M27. Join up to the M3 to go back on the A34. Northbound and then come off on the M4. And then follow that all the way to uh, Junction 16, where we can then come off and go into Blake Grove Industrial Estate. That's where we're going. <laughs> right, let's get crack a -lack in. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we 
we are in Swindon and we're just about to turn off the roundabout now to go into the place. It's currently 13 minutes past two, so yeah, I'm pretty sure when we left it, we uh, we said quarter past two is ETA, so yeah, we're bang on. And yeah, so last time we were here, we got here at, oh, we got here at 4 p.m. Last time we were here, and we uh, we didn't leave until like gone seven o'clock. So we're here like two hours earlier. So hopefully we're here by five. <laughs> yeah, this left here. This is where we're going. Excellent. And yeah, there's a little blue machine there, look, and we've got to uh, put some details in. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now, and then uh, probably withdraw the curtains as well, so we're uh, good to get offloaded. Okay, situation report is this. We got here at two o'clock, quarter past two to be precise, and it's now gone quarter past five. <laughs> yeah, we've been here like over three hours. But we are now getting offloaded. Which is good. But we won't be getting reloaded tonight. Um, <laughs> things about half an hour. Drive back to the yard from here. What's the beeping thing about? I think, I think, I, okay, okay, okay. I think I'm needed, I think I'm needed. <laughs> Just had to move the curtain round. Thing is, in about two minutes, I can be done. Nearly finished. For Nito. So that doesn't help really either, but <sighs> I think he's on the front right now though already. That's hundred percent the front row. Is he now going to beep? Uh, anyway, so yeah, we got offloaded a lot quicker than I was expecting, so that's good. Just need to get a couple of copies printed off and then uh, we'll be going. I think he's got two more rows to take off on the other side, yeah, so. Uh, it's a lot later than what we thought it was going to be. I was supposed to be reloaded tonight, like I said. Um, out of Tetbury, I believe, but uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. They close at half four and it's half five now, so the downside is that means I need to get loaded tomorrow morning, which means I need to be there, I think, for about six o'clock. I think I got there the last time, which when I was in the yard for about five o'clock, so get there for six and then just wait for someone to turn up, get loaded as soon as I can. Last time I didn't leave until gone ten o'clock, even though I was there at six. Um, and I believe I got to run down to Portsmouth. Um, again, but a different place in Portsmouth. I think he said it was Portsmouth Docks or something, and it's going to go, going to, go to Guernsey. <laughs> Don't know, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Paperwork we have. Um, although I could do put it in my folder. Let me just get around here a sec. Away and then we you know it's in there. Why is it you find one bit of rubbish to bin, then you find like 20 other bits? <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so we're loaded, uh, loaded, we're unloaded. Got here at two o'clock, quarter past two. It's now 20 to six, but uh, never mind, that's uh, that's just how it works sometimes, isn't it? Should be back in the yard for 10 past six. Uh, I didn't start until 10 to 7 this morning, so it's uh, it'll still be like less than a 12 hour shift. So it's not like mega, mega hours that I'm working or anything like that. So it might just put a delay on tomorrow now, that's all. What we've not been able to get uh, loaded tonight, so never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go and end this video now because I need to call the boss, let him know I'm just leaving. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down. Uh, yeah, leave a comment because I do read all the comments as well. So, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me read the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, drive safe, stay safe, and bye.